Hello all, it is Catherine B. Holmes from How to Draw Cool Stuff. I would like to show you how to do a cool leaf print today. Um, I went outside and picked these leaves. They were a little bit wet because it was raining, so I just sort of took a little paper towel and dried them off a tiny bit, get all the moisture off. And we're going to go ahead and paint this leaf. I flip it over so I can use the vein side. You see all these little beautiful veins that are happening here? We want that to show up in our print. We're going to print it on our paper. So to start, paper plate, and we've got some nice tempera autumn colors, nice warm colors that you would find on the leaves changing outside in the autumn season. I'm just going to give myself a little plop of yellow. A little plop of orange and a little plop of red. Now I've experimented with this and I've tried painting this plate and then sort of dipping this. That doesn't work. What we want to do, the best thing we can do, is to probably paint up the leaf first. So on some scrap paper here, I'll put my leaf then I'll take a little bit of this paint and a nice thin coat just paint it on my leaf. And I'll do it somewhat quickly because I don't want the paint to dry. You can mix up the colors a little bit just like you would see a regular leaf. wouldn't might not all be one color. This could be a really great opportunity to do some color mixing if you just wanted to do only red and yellow. You can see the orange happen as the two colors meet. Once you have your leaf painted, you get a little of that stem. I'll set this aside and go ahead and press. Very gently press, press. And I'm not wearing gloves. We could always take another piece of paper press like this. That could work. Lift it up, see what we got. Gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous leaf. I will do that again. I'll use the same leaf. Give it another layer of color. Nice and thin. Too much paint is going to make the veins almost disappear. So we want a nice thin, thin layer so we can see all of that nice detail. Too much paint makes a mess. Nice thin coat makes pretty good looking print. So where will I want this one? Maybe I'll put it right here. And again, I'll take my paper, do a little press, press. I'm not pushing, I'm not, I'm not bang, bang, I'm not doing that. And Ta-da, gorgeous, gorgeous. I think I'll do one more. This one will have a little bit of yellow in it, a little more yellow. And since my leaf already has paint on it, this yellow is going to become perhaps a light orange. We'll do one last leaf. Maybe I'll have this one come down like this. Press. So pretty. Maybe one more. One more leaf. As a good artist, it's your job to figure out when is a good time to stop. I like that, but we'll see. Maybe one more. A little bit more yellow. That yellow is really becoming quite a nice orange. And last but not least, give it a nice press. Peel it up. I'm going to put a little piece right here too. Cute. 
Okay, so there you have leaf prints using paint. Now we could take this to another level and maybe add some cute little acorns. So I'm going to take this piece of paper, it's just a thin strip of light brown, fold it in half so I can get a symmetrical looking acorn. Using my scissors, I'm going to cut a little acorn shape. Looks something like this. When I unfold it, it should look like a little acorn. Kind of cute. We could make it look even more like an acorn and create a pattern on it. So I like to take the acorn cap, make a little line like so. So I've just sort of separated and then make some lines going one way and then make some cross hatching marks going the other way. We've got this sort of cute little acorn pattern. Then we can take it and we would glue it using our glue. And we could just randomly put down some acorns. Move them around. Don't glue them yet because you might not like where you put them. But you might like it too. And I don't know, I think maybe I need a little bit of green. So maybe even have some green in your leaf. But this is actually cute, fun little project that you could do for the autumn. And that's it. As simple as that. I hope you enjoyed it. Do it in stations too, by the way, because that's probably the way to do it. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.